Well, while the protests have dominated the news cycle over the past few days, we are still in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic. Today, more Georgia businesses are reopening, but this weekend's close contact protests could impact our efforts to flatten the curve. Rebecca Lindstrom takes a look. I was at the protest on Sunday and talked with folks from across the metro, including Cobb and DeKalb. So if someone was there with COVID, the impact will likely be felt well outside of the city. Big picture, the number of new COVID-19 cases is trending down, and it has been now for several days, with an average of 523 new cases this past week. That's compared to 659 the week before. While the number of reported new patients only includes those diagnosed for the first time while in the hospital, that number two has been trending down. Testing the past few days has also slowed down with about 7,000 results coming in each day. Now that DPH has started separating out the types of tests, we can see serology or antibody tests make up about a third of those results. When you compare the number of new cases to a county's total population, Hall County has been the most impacted, but when you look at the raw numbers, Fulton County still has the highest total number of COVID-19 cases with 4,547 as of this afternoon. And that number doesn't seem to be slowing down. 454 new cases were reported this past week, almost double the number of cases the week before. And while we've heard a lot of talk about the impact this is having on long-term care facilities, only 17 of those new cases came from nursing or rehab centers. The zip code with the highest number of cases in that county has consistently been 30331, but that growth is slow. The concern right now is that some of the zip codes most impacted by COVID are in communities with predominantly black residents, residents who may have been involved in the protests downtown. Remember, testing is free, but you generally need an appointment.